Welcome back to the RC Bricks channel. Today I'm going to show you this custom Lego motorized excavator that I built. This excavator is designed to look like one from real life and it's known as the Komatsu PC 8000. Just like in real life, this is a very big excavator. It has a ramp and a ladder on the side to get up into the cab and simulated vents to keep the engine cool. It has an opening panel on the back to reveal the buoys unit that powers the excavator. And not much along this side, but it does have the switches, and these are to control the arm, as well as the switches on the back to control the drive and the rotation. So now we'll show you how all of these functions work. First, we're going to take a look at the motorized functions, and then we'll take a look at the pneumatic functions. So to control the motorized functions, it's actually a bit different than most of my builds. It's not remote controlled, it uses these switches built into the excavator to control it. You use the two on either side to drive it forward and backwards, as well as steer it. And you use the one in the middle to rotate the top section of the excavator. Now we'll take a quick look at the pneumatic functions. You can see some of the pneumatics inside of the excavator. It has a lot of different components, including a motorized pump controlled by an L-motor. And that pump can either go directly to the arms if the switch is in the middle, or if you flip the switch this way, it will pressurize the two air tanks in the back of the excavator, or if you flip the switch this way, it will release all the pressure from the system. So if I have it in the middle and turn the pump on, the arm will move by controlling these switches. And when I turn the pump off, if I flip it this way, even though you can't see it, it's pressurizing the two air tanks in the back of this excavator. You can see one of them here, and the other one is in the other corner. Now we're going to take this excavator outside, and I'm going to test it. And you'll see for some of the clips, I actually removed two of the scoops, so that all of the power is going to the one scoop, and it's better for digging. So as you can see, this excavator came out really well. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like. If you want to see more of my videos in the future, subscribe. If you want to see a video where I show you a LEGO RC semi truck, click the video on the left. Or if you want to see a playlist with all my mocks, click the playlist on the right.